Good evening. Live from New York, the CC Radio Network is proud to bring you tonight's show, The Rebellious Rev and the Doc, where we talk about religion like you've never heard before. There's no evangelists here. Just talk about religion with a twist. So let's get started and have some fun. Welcome our hosts for tonight, the rebellious Rev and the Doc. There is no heaven. There is no hell. There is only this world and its dark reflection. And we do not know in which of the two worlds we are. Of course we do. We're here. I'm right here, aren't you? Is today Friday? Yeah, and you're here, right? Well, if it's Friday, yeah, I'm here. Okay. Hello. Welcome. We're all here. Welcome to the Rebellious Rev and the Doc. Lots to discuss, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of things. We had a couple of unexpected deaths today, which we'll discuss both. The first one is well, Prince. the biggest, yeah, Prince, the big one, the recording star known as Prince, and also uh, for you wrestling fans out there, uh, my nephew, amongst them, uh, China, whose <laughs> real name I believe was Laurie Laura. I that think. doesn't sound like a real name, neither, neither Laurie well, Laura. I, well, I, there's something to that effect, but uh, I mean, I'd hate to think. You know, at 45 years old, there was no report, but, I mean, Lord knows, I bet you she used steroids for most of her wrestling career. Um, well, I think she's more than a wrestler. I think she's a bodybuilder. And... Well, she was. She was, you know, and uh, she was actually one of the first successful female wrestlers. Uh, by the way, uh, our music intern will be calling in shortly to... Give us her thoughts on uh, the passing of Prince, who was considered a musical icon. The man could play almost every musical instrument. Uh, Many times he composed the music and then went into his car and took out a sheet of paper. And an hour later, he had uh, eight to ten songs already written out, the lyrics. So, uh, and he always changed his look, uh, known for his look. With his uh, coif and his uh, stylish frilly lace shirts and, also and believe, colors. Also believe in not known to be a womanizer? Well, that's very possible. But the, he did have uh, uh, very, you know, bad luck in his, in his life. His uh, brother, older brother passed away uh, relatively young. Um, his baby son Died, I believe it was from sudden infant death syndrome. I'm not sure, but I think that's what it was. Uh, so there was a, a lot of tragedy, personal tragedy in his life. Uh, and uh, the usual, the Donald, Hillary, uh, the Byrne, um, fr- uh, Cruz, and... Uh, Taking it one step forward on the, uh, not bad, really. Yeah. It must have been an old picture. We're looking at a picture of China, by the way. She had to be about 20 years old there. 2007. Well, that's uh, 19, almost 20 years ago. So 2007 she was bit... is 20 years ago? It's almost, ni- I said 19 years ago. 2007? We're now in 2016? Oh, sorry. I was thinking of 1997. Nine well, all years. right, so... Uh, nine years ago. Nine years ago, so she, actually she was 36 there. Not bad. Yeah. Well, but she looks much younger. Well, you know, she wasn't... I mean, this is the way she looks. Uh, we have another picture. We're just looking at ourselves. Uh, it says her death was a possible overdose. And, and unfortunately, we learned that uh, Prince had an overdose just a few days ago. Uh, really tragic. Well, like I said, everything is possible. Nobody's saying, nobody's sure, but it's a possible. It's a possibility. Very true. Okay, let's see who's, uh, 
I think there's somebody that was... Uh, We're going to try to find some Prince uh, music to play for you. Yeah. There are no promises because there are uh, copyright restrictions. Yeah. And... Uh... Think out loud, Doc. Uh, oh, yeah, I know. I'm, Rev. Thinking, I'm looking over here. They spelled her name China, C-H-Y-N-A. That's how she spelled it. Yeah, but then another place is spelled China, C-H-I-N-A. No, the Y is correct. I'm not doubting you. I'm just saying what it says. That's all. Just because she's well, a yeah, college wrestler, too. Just because it's on the Internet, you know, it doesn't mean it's true. I hope you understand that. Oh, okay. I mean, the Internet also says that you're a reverend. Well, legally I am. Means not much, but legally I am. By the eyes of the law, I'm a reverend. By the law, by the eyes of the Lord, I don't know what he sees me as. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if we have any Ranger fans out there, uh, you could practically kiss your season goodbye. At the end of two periods, they are down four to nothing, and. It, they're not playing like they really want it, okay? The refereeing is terrible, and I just don't know what to say. By the way, just heard from our music intern. She said she will be calling in. When she does, we will turn the microphone over to her, which means that Felix can catch a catnap. Over here, now they're saying... Wrestler China returning to porn. Well, not anymore. I didn't know she was a porn star. Uh, she might have done soft porn. I don't know. I Who knows? Idea. This is from the Daily News. With total nonstop action wrestling in the turn... Return to pornograph pornographic films. I don't know. She's been around though, and she's gone now. Very true. And we've got a caller. I believe it's going to be our uh, music critic. And you're correct. And good evening. And how are you? I'm okay. A little. A little stressed out right now, but I'm okay. Yeah, we're just uh, yeah, we're just looking at things. We're looking uh, also, you know, besides. Uh, well, I didn't hear one word you just said. I'm sorry. Besides Prince, also a wrestler died. China. Yeah, and a basketball player died too. Who's the? Well, uh, an ex an ex basketball player. Or the, or the, not today, the one that was shot or something? No, no. Um, Pearl, um, what was his name? Pearl Washington. He was. He played in Syracuse back in the 80s. He played with Ewing and Mullen and everybody. Um, and then he became pro. He just died yesterday. or It had to have been yesterday because it was in the paper today. Who's this? Uh, what is it? Pearl Washington? Well, his nickname, I guess, was Pearl. Nick, uh, what? Uh, Pearl. He played. For, he played for Syracuse back in in uh, the eighties. Well, the only no, you're Monroe. thinking of all Earl of Pearl Monroe. That's the only Pearl that I know. No, 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 no. No, that's. I'm talking. No, I, I told Felix or uh, the Rev. Yeah. That's who he was thinking. No, of. I said that's the only oh. Pearl that I know. I said. No, no, it was it. He was 52 years old. Okay. Well, they're all too young, 52, 57, 45. You know, it's, all, it's only four months so far into 2016, and quite a few people have already passed away. You know. Right. Legends, I mean, no matter what age, a lot of people have died, and what are we, only in April? But yep. it was a shocker today to hear about Prince. I mean, 57 years old. The last I heard, he was sick. He was, I think he was on tour or something, and 
They had to do an emergency landing. I think it was in Indiana, and then he ended up back at home. But he was he had the flu or something while he was out there. Well, I heard the same and, thing, but just on uh, not that I watch the show, but uh, the Rev watches uh, yeah. the Factor with uh, Bill O'Reilly, mm-hmm. and uh, one of the headlines said that. Uh, it might have been an overdose. They don't know. I can't say. But he was never. He was. I don't think he was heavenly, like so heavily into drugs. I didn't think I've so never, either. I've, but I've never heard of anything with him even dabbling in it. And they said the same thing about China. She well, China. Go. I mean, I, I just found out by you guys. Saying it on the air, I mean that also is a is a shocker. But I mean, she, I mean she was a wrestler. Um, who knows what could have happened on, in that aspect if it was steroids or well, that's um, what I thought. I was te- or something. Well, you know, they they also they they said, of course, on the internet, and we all know that everything that's printed on the internet is the truth. Uh, they mm-hmm. claimed that it was an overdose with her. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but I mean... Yeah, when a young person dies relatively young and suddenly, right away, the first thing the newspapers say is it's got to be drugs, you know? Right. I mean, and it's literally become an epidemic here in Staten Island uh, of overdoses. I mean, there's, there's been so many... There's been 10 heroin overdoses that were told to the uh, local paper here. I mean, it could, it, of course, there's probably a lot more, but, I mean, every week there was another person that died from a heroin overdose. I mean, they found a body in Scott's restaurant in the bathroom a couple of weeks ago. That's, wow. A 35-year-old man, dead on the floor with the needle next to him. Oh, boy. You know, it doesn't discriminate with age. No, they don't. Drug. Not only that, drugs also don't do not discriminate when it comes to financial status or whether you're uh, white, Asian, black, uh, or religion. You know. Yeah. I remember back. Oh, it's got to be about 15 years ago. When Robert Downey Jr. was busted for uh, for drugs, and he was wearing the orange, you know, uh, jumpsuit that they have all the prisoners wear, when he appeared for his uh, court hearing, he literally cried to the judge. He wasn't asking for mercy. He just said that you have no idea. He said people who have not used have no idea how difficult it is to kick the habit. He said, once you get started, he said, it's it's almost impossible to do. And uh, I give his current wife a lot of credit because I think that she was instrumental in him getting clean, really. He's, he's a guy that surprises me they're still alive. What? I would have never thought this guy would live so long. Who? Robert Downey Jr. Oh. oh. Why? Because he was a drug addict for so many years. Well, that's really? it. There's, that's a, what he was there's a lot to of say. look at Keith Richards. You want to talk about someone that that should have been dead a long time ago? What about he, Keith Richards? He's in his mid seventies, and he looks like he's close to ninety, and he's probably been using drugs close to sixty years. Exactly. Then he's still alive. Yeah, I guess. Anyway. Uh... So what I, do you got to tell us about him? What do you know about him? Anything? What, Prince? Yeah. Talk about his, his music. I, I'm going to tell Well, being a child of or a teenager of the 80s, I mean, I grew up listening to Prince. I think he was an extraordinary uh, person, um, talented musician. I mean, like 
like it's true what you said. He could write a song in a matter of minutes, no matter where he was. Uh,